How's the royal family? I pray that everyone is doing well. Well, my royal family, we on part two of this. Yeah, I ain't done with these coons at all. Not one damn bit. No. So I got two that I got to work on. And I don't know how long this thing going to go. You know, we, you know, you know how, you know, we in the age of exposure. And so um, I'm just letting y'all know right now. You thought I was raw last night. Oh, it's going to get worse. Oh, it's going to get worse. So it's one of them videos. I should have said that the other day. Stop everything you're doing. Go get that weed. Because you're going to have the best high in the world when I get finished with you. <laughs> oh, these coons, you have played your last card. And so your coonery is coming forth. So I must do what I do because I'm good at what I do. I thank you, my royal family, for raising me and teaching me and counseling me and opening my eyes. All of y'all, I thank my father, James Alfred Newman, Jr. I thank my mother for joining the Black Panthers. Power to the people. I'm a cub. I'm a good-ass student. Gonna always stay a master student. So, oh yeah. Oh yeah. So let's, let's, let's get into this. Joy. Really? <laughs> Joy. You can't help yourself, but you got a set of problems. You got to really limit yourself. You know? We see what it we see what we have right here. Homophobic. Yeah, you racist. Yeah, we're going to put you in a racist pile. We can do that. Yeah, we can do that. We can do that. But the one, I'm going to skip that other one. The the alphabet crew, they waiting for you to fuck up. So what you do is you want to wag your finger at us. Oh, they own you. It's just a matter of time before you lose your J-O-B. So I strongly suggest, homegirl, save your coins. Because you really be fucking up and um you know you think you better than the royal family because your family is considered immigrants yeah you think you better and um i wouldn't want to be in your position because you got to do a lot of bowling and scraping and boot licking and you got to Think about everything that come out of your mouth. But let me tell you something, bitch. Who are you to think that you can get on your high horse with your nasty, greasy words and talk crazy to the royal family? Because we questioning shit. So we're going to apply the pressure. The pressure. See, they now... You somewhat in favor with them, but see, they toying with you because they know your coon ass is scared because they're going to pull that rug eventually. Oh, yes, they is. And what they do, they throw shit in your face. So they, 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 you, you're nothing, you're nothing more, like I often say, a form of entertainment. <laughs> Because you is walking on that tightrope. But don't you ever, ever get on your high horse and um, put your finger in our face and tell us what we should do and what we should say and all of that. See, the reason why you talking the way you talking because of the position that you're in. And it's not a good position. It's not a position of power. It's really not. So, you know, you feel some kind of way about the alphabet crew and you really mad because you can't you can't exercise the freedom of speech. So then you focus on the royal family. And you must think we dumb and we can't hear what you're saying. 
See, all we got to do, Joy, is stir the pot and put it right back in your face. You've been pissing off the alphabet crew. Yeah, you can't piss them off. You can't speak freely like that. It's just a matter of time. So you just like they're just teetering, just teetering. I know it's all build up in you because you don't like gays. And then um, my real family, y'all remember when that shit popped off? She got that com convenient amnesia and the shit that she had put out long ago about them gay folks. And she tried to pull the, the pool with white people pull. I don't recall. And, um, and she's making all these moves and stuff. Bitch, you know you wrote that shit. See, if it would have been me, I would have said, yeah, I wrote that. That's how I felt. I would have lost my job, but I stay true to thyself and stuff. So you all of a sudden you get convenient amnesia. Bitch, you better slow down and think you're going to talk crazy to us. You really need to slow down because you don't want us to stir the pot because we can stir that bitch. Oh, yeah, we can start it because all we got to do is tap on the shoulders of the alphabet crew. And, you know, you can't put down gay people. No, no, you can't do that. Because pretty much they write your check. Yeah, the enemy is very complex like that. You know, they involved in all kind of lives. And that's they shit. So you're not in a position of power at all to ever, ever, with your coon ass, put your hand on your hip and talk about us. Because you got to worry again and again and again about your immediate situation. I say it damn near every day. Every day. So you need to scale back on them vacations and, you know, whatever you're doing with your family and, how you extending yourself. Because, old oh girl, you're not in a good position. Karma is a true patch. You never know when karma going to show up. We have that type of power. All we got to do is just take one to get on social media. Go on that Twitter. Get on that Facebook or whatever. We get on Instagram, all of that. And remind the alphabet crew about you and your fuckery so joy you waddle in that you waddle in that all right you waddle in that so my royal family i say the best for last y'all you know i'm gonna come through for the royal family candace candace coon owen Say some of the dumbest shit. I mean, dumb. Woo, girl is dumb. Woo, Candace. Candace, I have a question to ask you. When that white boy was on that down stroke or that double down stroke when y'all was laid up in the bed, what was he telling you in your ear? Was he telling you how good you was? Or was he telling you how stupid you was or is? Is or was, we can, it can be interchangeable. Is or was. No, you is. We're going to keep it at the is because it's at the present. One of them white boys lied to you when you had your legs wide open. Oh, yeah, we going in there tonight. Oh, yes, we is. <laughs> and I'm having fun dragging this nut. I went and did my research on that and listened to them damn cockeyed videos what she was saying about Hitler. I said, you dumb, and then you tried to clean it up. No, no, you can't clean it up, Candace. You're always making yourself look stupid. You're not bright at all. Maybe you're good at your head game. Yeah, I went there, family. You know, Candace is doing something somewhere, somewhere. And um, she ain't going to recover from this. You know, we ain't forgot about blacks. At, no, not at all. They still in litigation on that. And she's still using that too as well. But I just dropped my head when I heard this Kundalette say what she say. Then try to get on Twitter and clean the shit up. You always cleaning up shit. 
You always cleaning up your shit. And you can't seem to get it out your nails or anything like that. It's always kind of just, you know you smell it, Candace. You know you smell it. And um, you on the dumb dumb crew. You know, you like to hang with Ann Coulter with her racist ass. And Ann Coulter thinks she's superior to the world. I don't know what these white boys is telling you on these downstrokes. Must be good to you, huh? How long that's gonna last? Did y'all hear that dumb shit, my royal family? Did y'all really hear that dumb shit? Do I gotta play that dumb shit that this fool, this fool said about Hitler? I must go there. Let's go look this shit up. Cause Candace is a piece of work. She a piece of work. She thinks she's slick. Thinks she's shrewd. You need to go talk to Emma Rosa. Now, Emma Rosa do things I don't like. But one thing I can say about Emma Rosa, she make damn sure that she um has something, something to back her shit up. You know? She really do. Because you be seeing some dumb shit, girlfriend, and you ain't trying. Do you do your research? Do you really know about Hitler, you're getting the backlash everywhere, every time. I don't know how much longer, how much longer, how much longer. Listen to this dumb shit. And see, they, they, they dragging her over there on Twitter. So I want you to hear it for yourself. I agree. I, I actually don't have any problems at all with the word nationalism. I think that it gets, uh, the definition gets poisoned um, by elitists that actually want globalism. Globalism is what I, what I don't want. So when you think about whenever we say nationalism, the first thing people think about, in, at least in America, is Hitler. You know, he was a national socialist. But if Hitler just wanted to make Germany great and have things run well, okay, fine. The problem is, is that he wanted, he had dreams outside of Germany. He wanted to globalize. He wanted everybody to be German, everybody to be speaking German, everybody to look a different way. That's not, to me, that's not nationalism. Um, so in thinking about how we could go bad down the line, I don't really, I don't really have an issue with nationalism. I really don't. I think that it's okay. It's important to retain your, your country's identity and to make sure um, that what's happening here, which I think is incredibly worrisome in terms of the, just the, the decrease in the birth rate that we're seeing um, in the UK, is what you kind of want to avoid. So I'm not, I don't have anything problem. I have no problems with nationalism. It's globalism that I try to avoid. Ooh, ooh wee. Ooh wee. I'm looking at these white folks in here. They dragging your shit. They dragging your shit. Ooh, Candace, you dumb. You real dumb. Oops, Joy, I'm done with you too. Let's go back. Let me find my place. Let me find my way. There she go, right here. Candace, you need to let it go. You really do. You really need to let it go. But let me tell you about this type of coon, my royal family. She not gonna let it go. You gonna have, she's, she's real special. She's in that, that category with uh, David Clark. She's delusional. And um, she thinks she's highly intelligent and she thinks she has a great deal of power. And as long as um, white daddy is, is stroking her, um, you know, she feels emboldened to say the dumb shit that she say to the enemy. And they saying, what kind of bitch is this? Wait a minute. We didn't throw some money behind her, but she's supposed to belittle black folks. You don't belittle us. We are going to make you feel. And it's going to be a pitiful, sad ass dragon. Oh, yes. And um, she um, have nowhere to go. Nowhere. And what's she going to do? She's the type. It's going to keep going to them, going to them, going to them, going to them. She will never, ever stop going to the enemy. Because she's that jaded. Oh, yeah, she's jaded like that, my royal family. 
Candace is clueless. Mm. It's amazing what white dick can do to you. Yeah, I said that. Yeah, I said that. I said I would go there tonight. Yeah, I can be real raw and loose with thy tongue. Yes, I can. And um, I don't give a fuck tonight. So I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want to say because I'm tired of these motherfuckers. And that's how I look at them. Just smiling and scraping and yes, a boss and all of this. My royal family. When I said that we was in the age of exposure, it's knocking me down too. But it's a good thing. Don't be angry. Be enlightened. Take note about what they doing. Because they have literally played their last card. Because everything was all about controlling us. No. We allowed ourselves to be controlled. We was trying to go along and get along. And trying to work collectively with the enemy. And I often said on the four corners of the earth we have demonstrated who we are. We know what they is. So it ain't working with nobody, and we ain't working with the enemy support supporters. Because again and again and again, the, the ultimate thing, the ultimate thing is to uphold white supremacy as Babylon died before our eyes. I don't care who's running. I don't care if they're talking about reparations and all of that. At the end of the day, it's all about that. So spiritually, again, that tells you who you are. Royalty. Chosen. Ain't it beautiful to be chosen? You know? Now they come at you foul and all of that. But really, they don't even know that they are, that the creator is working on them too as well. And it boggles the psyche. It's like, why do we got to keep pandering to these people and coming to these people? You know, if they had it their way, they would literally dismiss us. It ain't working. You have no cards. Give it up. Give it up. I'm sick of these motherfuckers. Real sick of them. I'm sick of the buck dancing and the tap dancing and the pandering. And then you get mad because we have a voice and we have insight. See that thing that I've been telling you, my royal family, about being empathic and you don't realize that we all is because you ain't feeling people. It's about feelings and emotions. It really is. So my royal family, I just had to do what I had to do. I know there'll be more to come and more will continue to stay dumb shit as more people throw their hat in a arena and all of that and these coons gonna come out the cracks like roaches that they are because they worried and we need to keep rendering our voice with our beautiful divine words and as always my royal family i thank you for your love i thank you for your support and with that said i shake